What's up, Flomies? Okay, we are still in Vegas. We are headed to the Neon Museum. I rented it out to do a photo shoot with all of us and some ranch dressing models. So, feeling pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's about, I don't know, 6 something a.m. 30. 6.30 a.m. And yeah, here we go. The Neon Museum is a really, really cool place to go in Vegas. So if you have never been, go. Hey, see money, roll that hot fire. Las Vegas Neon Museum model montage. The kids in the pictures aren't very cool. We just got good photographers. Photographers do the things. Yeah, we just look weird. The thing is, this is my fabulous friend, Kamala, like Pamela, but with a K. <laughs> what I say? Add an E, take out yeah. an I, add an A. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kamala. Hey! And we invited her to every range dress and photo shoot we've done out here because we think One, she's curvy she's and fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Mm -hmm. Stunningly gorgeous. No, that's not a pose. And <laughs> she is a nice girl on Instagram. Not a mean girl in real life either. I'm gonna give you a pop tag. Right there. Boop, boop. <laughs> is this so dope? I wanna talk to you guys because I think a lot of people aspire to have their own business or aspire to come to Las Vegas and see all the neon lights or just aspire for really big things in their life. And I want you to dream. I mean, I want you to, I want you to be like, oh, I'm gonna be financially able to do these things and travel and I'm gonna be able to see things and do things and um, go places and everybody's gonna know who I am. And that's a really cool dream. But I think if you fall in love with the work of it, you fall in love with the 5 a.m. wake up call and the um, one meal a day, maybe if that, and the pressure of people expecting you to be delightful every hour, every minute of every day, and expect to, you know, be the person that drove three days to get to a place, work three days relentlessly, 14 hour days, and then have a full schedule but wake up at 4 a.m. to seize an opportunity. That's the things that you need to fall in love with. Don't be picking out your Lamborghini just yet, boo-boo. You need to figure out how it is that you are gonna fall in love with working your tail off. I think the most frustrating thing for me to hear is when people say they've tried everything. Like, have you tried everything? Ask yourself that today. 
even if you are the hardest per working person that you know, if you're literally the hardest working person you know, like, take a second and tell me, like, have you, have you been awake at 4 a.m.? Have you called the Neon Museum and set up a photo shoot for your brand? Have you contacted people that are strangers to you and asked them if they would mind representing your brand and, and do they believe in what you believe in? And do they have the same spirit embodied that you have? And it's tough and it's painful because you're gonna get rejected, you're gonna get um, laughed at and people are not gonna believe in what you're doing and you have to keep going without certainty or reassurance. So I don't think it's motivation and discipline that get you anywhere. I think it's a lack of certainty that you get very, very comfortable with and rejection. You get comfortable with rejection and then you start really finding out who you are. So I hope you guys have loved this trip to Vegas because this has been the best one yet. And I can't wait to see what 2019 holds because this has been epic. It's been absolutely epic. Um, the vibe maybe on YouTube is like, oh, it's so glamorous. There's no limos outside. We're in a really bad part of town. There's, there's security guards everywhere locking us in. Hello. Look, girl. Look at you, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> do I look like Vegas? Yeah, you do. I'm so Vegas. Look at you. She's so hot. Anyway, there's no limo waiting outside. There's no craft services here with filet mignons for us to eat. There is schedules, there is tight deadlines, and these girls taking these pictures are gonna be uploading all day. Cody is going to be throwing this vlog together as soon as she gets out of her high heels. Um, I'm gonna be in an appearance meeting Flomies. Like, it's, it's work girl and we are excited to do it so get excited about all the hard stuff and maybe you'll get five seconds of a, i wish i got that on camera taylor just fell down trying to be glamorous just fell right smack on her booty but i hope you fall in love with the hard stuff all right um i'm gonna go change for today to do stuff and things okay bye we're all done at man sports and what we've decided is this place needs to feel a little like home so we're gonna go tailgate for lunch. Mom, are you excited about tailgating with water and sandwiches? Am I not? Excited about tailgating? Oh, yes. Yeah? Into yes. it? We Real it. luxury in Las Vegas. <laughs> luxury. pumping gas and then they told me they didn't need my help anymore I guess uh, I'm out here now just cleaning up parking lots trash and things found it some nuts I <laughs> really I dare you to go inside up to Dale like that let's do it I need a bigger hat though please do this believe if you guys want to see this happen if you don't want us to stop the vlog give this a thumbs up right now or we're not going any further we're gonna wait Cody, put up one of the little like screen things with the. Okay, we got enough thumbs up. We're heading to the building with Fail Tisby or whatever his name is. Fail Frisbee. I see my long lost twin brother. Okay, here we go. Nini, thoughts? You don't want to be near him? Are you getting away from him? No! Do you still love him? I still love him. That's nice. I'll get that door for you. Yeah, Brisby doesn't hold doors. Yeah. He doesn't have time. He's on to the next one, old son. Get into character. Come on. You guys didn't see Dale? Nothing? No? Okay. We'll try harder. Nothing? Old girl. Old girl? I don't think that's a good idea. Dale, oh, yeah. Dale. My name is Brody. Who is this? This guy back from the rodeo. 
you just got back from the Brodeo. I'm your biggest fan. Man. <laughs> yes, you are my biggest fan. Just got back from the Brodeo. You look like somebody I'd like to sit down and have a protein check with, Brody. Yeah. That sounds uh, amazing. Yeah. I just want to sign your shirt. Is that all right? Yeah, sorry. I charge for signatures. I can't do that. So does he. Yeah, his uh, raid is major. Do you have extensions? Is that all natural? It took me about 10 years ago this much. Really? Wow. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you must be taking a lot of omegas. I think if you had, I think if you had some tie-dye pants, that's a good idea. You'd be, you'd be ready to go. What, what kind of life advice do you have for us, Brody? Oh man, you know if there's a fork in the road, you take it. Okay. You know, drive faster than you need to, cause you get there sooner. <laughs> yep. And uh, take chances when you can. An apple a day keeps everyone away if you throw it hard enough. That's, that's my true. life advice. I like that one. Yeah. Thank you, Dale. Brody. Huge fan. We're going to have to hang out more. We will. I like you. We sure will. I like you. <laughs> Breaking news. Denise, I need the shoulder pads. Power. Can you? Power. Power. Pads. Crushed velvet. Shoulder pads. Crushed velvet. Elbow patches are the new black. I am strong and beautiful and people love me. Men are intimidated by your power hair. <clears throat> Welcome back, Go Fasters. Sandy Go Fast back. Sorry, I've been a few days. I've been at the salon getting a makeover. Boys, I'm focused on my career. That's why I'm single. Round six. It's gone. And what happened was amazing things. Bronc riders rode Bronx. Bull riders rode Bulls. Ted Cooper roped one in six seconds, but broke the barrier. Other people did stuff and things. There was a header that headed and a healer that healed but you'll never fix a broken barrier or a fallen barrel. Let's get into round six's barrel racing results. All right, let's go into round six of the Women's National Finals Rodeo. Pretty sure that's what the W stands for. First out was the Kelly Bruner. She is a veterinarian because women can vote and do anything. She hit a barrel, but was a speedy 13.61. We love her. Next out, Tracy Nolan from Oklahoma, hit a barrel also, but she would have been a 1381. Amberly Moore takes home a fourth place check with a 13.77. Again, back with the purple passion. Next up, Jesse Telford with a 13.92. Carmen Pazabon put it on him with a 14.10. But then everyone's favorite, Haley Kinsel, takes home her second round win of the NFR with a 13.63. Followed by the reigning world champion, Nellie Miller with a 14.10. Brittany Posey to Nazi, 14.28 little slip on the first barrel. Next up, Lisa Lockhart with a 13.97. Stevie Hillman with a 13.90. Tacey Bettis, which we always bet on, but unfortunately hit a barrel, would have been a speedy 13.82, followed by Kylie Wiest with a 13.94. Jessica Routier wins a second place check with a 13.73. Ivy Conrado takes home the bronze medal of the round with a 13.75, and to wrap it all up, Tammy Fisher, 13.98. I'll be back again very soon as we determine the world champion of the Women's National Finals Rodeo. You guys, breaking news from Sandy Go Fast. This is crazy. Here's the tea, sis. As the kids say, here's the tea. Amberly Moore, that came into these finals, ranked number 13 in the world, is now, boo boo boo, number two. Two, folks. Let's see how this round plays out power stands. As we go into round seven, stay tuned. Will Haley Kinsel win? Question mark. 
Ted, you've got to change the teleprompter. Just leave the sentence. I keep saying the punctuation, exclamation point. All right, guys, that's it for today. We're ending the meal with an American Hooters dinner. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you in Vegas.